Hi guys, welcome to another Vlogmas. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, the nursery. Um, this is my cat Prince. Say hi. Uh, we went to a nursery first time with my baby girl. Just for an hour just to see how she gets on. So me and my partner decided that we would not give Scarlett to a nursery unless she is at least two. She's 16 months now and we thought for about half a year maybe we would give her a chance to see some kids, to socialize and maybe we would take her just once a week for let's say three hours, maybe five. Uh, I would rather give three but um, we will see. And uh, I thought about it because I know that once she's two it could be a big shock to just like be thrown there for couple of days or for all week. So I thought maybe it would be good for her to go to a nursery once a week and then we will see how we uh, how we get from there and then if she likes it in the future we can extend it uh, and we will see how it goes. So the first day when we went there uh, they told us to bring her just for an hour and leave her there and Basically what happened when I got back there, she was all in tears, she was all red, sweaty, with poofy eyes. I could say I never seen her that upset in my entire life and I could see that she was crying for at least half an hour. I was not really happy they didn't call me and tell me that it's that bad because I would get back straight away and comfort her and maybe leave her for another half an hour. And the lady who gave me her back, she said that everything was fine and she was, she'd been only crying for about 15 minutes. But uh, I don't know, it didn't look that good for me. Uh, we had to stay in the nursery, like we went to a cafeteria downstairs. We had to stay there for at least half an hour to calm her down. I gave her some biscuits, which I normally don't like doing. I don't like giving her sweets. I only do this when we have some kind of crisis situation. And I gave her some biscuits, I gave her milk, I was carrying her, singing to her, like nothing was helping, she couldn't like uh, calm down, like you could see that her breath was not steady and she was that upset. So um, I had a really bad experience with um, the nursery uh, and I definitely not going back there. Uh, I know that I should not give up and um, I should just give another chance, but I didn't think like that particular nursery was good for her. After when I spoke with uh, nurses, I wasn't really feeling like this is the right one, even if it wasn't fully packed, it was only three kids there on Monday. And I thought first it would be perfect because it was that close. I didn't like it that after an hour they haven't even noticed that she's not walking yet. They were like asking me if they can take her on a walk next time on the rains and I said like she's not even walking yet like you haven't noticed that in an hour like what you've been doing here with her she was basically like crying herself uh, in a corner no one called me no one let me know they haven't noticed she doesn't walk and I just thought no and I've made an appointment with a different nursery and going tomorrow we're going also for an hour, but I'm just this time I'm gonna just stay inside and I'm gonna see uh, what's gonna happen. So if she's gonna be alright with other kids, I'll leave. But I won't leave for longer than like half an hour, and I will definitely um, tell those ladies that if there's any tears, they just have to call me back because I don't want the same situation which I had. Uh, today, yesterday. Uh, so yeah, my first time of nursery wasn't a really positive and um, I know many children cry and this is normal but I just want to avoid it. I want to like introduce her. That's why I'm taking her there because I want to introduce her step by step so she won't be upset, she won't get shocked um, and then when she's two years old she may be able to uh, go there even every day and she may even enjoy it, she may even like it because many children like nurseries and they make friends there and they love it so 
I just don't want her to uh, feel like this is something she has to do, like this is something horrible, like we're gonna go there and she's gonna cry all day. And uh, I want to like avoid all the trauma, so that's why I'm gonna do it kind of step by step. Because So fingers crossed, we will see how it goes tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to um, a different nursery and it's uh, the owner. This is actually a private one. Uh, it's the lady who owns it is a childminder and she's Polish and married to an Englishman. And they uh, have a private nursery, they work together. And this is in their home. So this is something a little bit different, a regular nursery. So I thought maybe that would be a little bit better in the privacy of someone's home. And also I heard really awesome reviews about that lady. So I wouldn't be um, so hesitant to go there. And I'm not going to give up after a bad experience I had. Will be cross a uh, second time will be better. Thumbs up if you like that video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!